Hi, I'm Katie from New Tech Machinery. Oil canning is an inherent characteristic in light gauge, cold rolled metal products. But how does your roll forming machine impact the amount of oil canning in the finished panels? Understanding what can cause oil canning and when it might be an issue with your portable roll forming machine is important so you can make the appropriate adjustments. Oil canning is a noticeable waviness or warping in the flat area of a metal roof or wall panel. While oil canning on a metal roof isn't aesthetically pleasing, it isn't typically a cause for concern. Oil canning may not be that noticeable until a panel is installed onto the roof or wall, but it is still essential that you check your panels for this issue from the start of your project. There are a few different ways that oil canning is caused. Imperfections in the coil or material, imperfections in the roof structure, or problems as the material is going through the portable roll former. Let's talk about each situation a little more. Any imperfections in the structure, like if the roof deck is uneven or the framing isn't flat, can contribute to oil canning. When the material gets installed over an imperfect roof, it will follow these imperfections and may look like a bubble when you look at the roof. Oil canning can also happen if the panels were installed improperly or without enough room for thermal movement. Oil canning can also happen if there are problems with the coil itself. For example, if the coil has imperfections like camber or edge wave or is slit improperly, Oil canning will be there even after the material is formed. Oil canning or shape issues in the coil won't necessarily damage your machine, but it won't be removed through roll forming. Problems with the material can also affect how the panel profile is formed, sometimes causing the legs to be different heights or misshapen. Finally, oil canning can happen if the portable roof panel machine's forming rollers aren't set right or need to be adjusted. You'll always want to check your machine and a sample panel for signs of oil canning before you begin your project so you don't waste material. If you encounter any panels that aren't lying flat, it can be simple to fix the issue. There are various reasons that oil canning could be happening if you've made sure that there are no imperfections in the coil or roof. Knowing how to make the proper adjustments to your machine is important to producing quality panels and avoiding oil canning. When you get to the job site, run a sample panel about 10 feet long and place it on a flat surface. Be sure to have a light source reflecting off any angles in the panel to notice any hard to see waviness. If you notice any wavy edges or oil canning when looking at the material, stop running that coil. You always want to check your coil for oil canning first before making any adjustments to your machine, because if you run that defective coil, it will still show up on the finished panel. If the coil is good and not causing the issue, then you can check a few areas on your machine. Detailed directions are listed on your machine's operator manual. Make sure the coil is loaded and sitting on the arbor correctly and going inside the machine straight. In your machine manual, use the real setup chart to find the right place to put the coil as it corresponds to the profile you're running. Check that the coil is going into the entry guide in the right position in relation to the profile installed in your machine. The entry guides help set the material to the correct position in relation to the forming rollers inside the machine. Check that the entry drums are still square as material is coming off of the overhead reel rack and you're not putting pressure on one side of the coil more than the other. They should be set to the width of the material and the center drum should be centered with the material. Check that your profile tooling is installed correctly inside the machine. If it's not, you'll need to check and adjust as necessary so that it's aligned to the gold bars inside your machine. Check your entry and exit shear dies to ensure they're the correct ones for the profile you're running and that they're not rubbing on the panel legs as they exit the machine. Double check they're also at even height and adjust as necessary. Check your drive rollers and make sure there's no flat spots, tightness, or delamination. The drive rollers are factory set to have a clearance between the top and bottom rollers depending on the specified materials. If you think you're having drive system issues, contact the service department. Check that you've correctly set up your runout stands. The runout stands should be sitting straight and flat on the ground and adjusted to the correct height of the machine. If they are the right height and standing flat and the panel is still coming out with oil canning, you'll next check the camber station. Each roller set has a camber adjustment station near the exit end of the machine. It can be adjusted if the panel is running slightly uphill or downhill. Oil canning is an inherent issue in metal roofing, but there are various ways it's caused and different solutions to fix it. If you encounter any oil canning issues from your machine, reach out to the NTM service department. For more troubleshooting assistance, be sure to check out the Service and Support Center on New Tech Machinery's website. Thanks for watching.